In this video, I will talk about how we name polynomials by degree and by the number of terms. First of all, when we talk about degree, the degree of a polynomial is going to be the highest power of any term. So, for example, if I have a polynomial that goes, I don't know, 5x to the fourth power plus 3x to the third power plus 7x squared <coughs> minus x plus 13. Um, the degree is going to be 4 because it's just the highest power. All right, and it doesn't matter the order. Let's start with the lowest degree. Um, let's say the degree is 0. Then that would be called a constant. And for example, the polynomial would just be maybe a 5 or a 7 or a negative 5, any number without a variable. On the other hand, um, let's say if the degree was 1. All right, uh, then that would be something like, well, first of all, that would be called linear. And an example would be like 2x minus 5. So then you see the constant term and then the linear term. Um, basically, it'll just have a plain x, degree of 1. All right, this is degree 0, by the way, because you could think of it as x to the 0 power. Mm. Anyway, um, what if it had degree 2? Uh, degree 2 is called a quadratic. And you will recognize a quadratic because it'll have something squared. So for example, if I had x squared plus 2x minus 5, this would be a quadratic polynomial. Um, if the degree is 3, we call it cubic. Uh, so for example, if I had 2x to the third power plus x squared plus 2x minus 5, this would be cubic because of the third power. If the degree is 4, um, then that's called quartic. All right, and um, I, I'm not just going to add an extra term onto this because I don't want you to think that it always has to get bigger and bigger. Um, so say if I had 5x to the fourth power minus 1. This would be quartic because the degree is 4. And um, let's do one more. This is as high as we'll go. If the degree is 5, that's called quintic. Okay, so if I had, um, let's say, 3x to the fifth power minus 2x squared, and you know, I'll just leave it like that. This would be quintic because the degree is 5. So memorize these names based on the degree and know what that means. All right. Um, now, naming according to the no number of terms is really simple, and there's not a very long list. Um, if there's one term, for example, if I just have 3x, that is a monomial. Maybe I should make the same sort of a list. All right, if a polynomial has one term, we call it a monomial. All right, so for example, if I had just 3x squared. All right, that's one term, that is a monomial. If it has two terms, it's called a binomial. Um, so two terms. For example, if I had 2x plus 3. This is a term and this is a term, separated by a plus or a minus. And so that makes this a binomial. If we have three terms, we call it a trinomial. All OK, so for example, if I had um, x to the fifth power plus 2x to the third power minus x, this would be a trinomial because it has three terms. 
Okay, by the way, you can put these names together. Um, we talked about names um, according to degree, and we talked about these names according to the number of terms. So um, this is a monomial, but uh, because the degree is two, I could call it a quadratic monomial. This is a trinomial, um, so this is a quadratic trinomial. Um, this is quartic because the degree is four. It's a binomial because it has two terms, so I could call it a quartic binomial. This is a quintic binomial. This is a linear binomial, and this is a constant monomial because it only has one term. Anyway, back to this. Um, anything over three terms, we just go with the general term polynomial. So if we if it has four or more, we just go ahead and call it polynomial. Okay, so for example, if I had, um, you know, if I had x to the third power plus um, 2x squared minus x plus 7. That has four terms. We don't have a special word for it, so we just go with polynomial. Um, to be clear, all of these are polynomials. All right, A monomial is a kind of polynomial. A binomial is a polynomial. A trinomial is a polynomial. They are all polynomials. It's just that um, once you get to four terms, we don't have any more special names, so we just go with the general term, right? But if I ask you, is 3x squared a polynomial? You're going to say, yes. Yes, it is. Don't say, no, it's not a polynomial. It's a monomial. Okay, they're all polynomials. Um, anyway, enough background. Let's get to these actual problems. Okay, so this is a monomial because it only has one term. Um, because the degree is one, just the one variable, this is linear. So we could say this is a linear monomial. Okay, looking at this, you see it has two terms and uh, the degree is three. That makes it cubic. So this is a cubic binomial. All right, how about this one? Um, this has so many terms, well, four terms, um, that we don't have a special name for it. So we're just gonna go with the general term polynomial the degree is 3, so that me makes this cubic. Boo. So we will call this a cubic polynomial. Don't try to make up your own word like cubic tetronomial or something like that, like I saw some kids do. Very clever, but wrong. Um, looking at this one right here. There are two terms that makes it a binomial. Again, the uh, highest power is three, so that makes it cubic. All right, it's a lot of cubic, whoever wrote this. It's a lot of cubic, so um, cubic binomial. In fact, um, anyway, whatever. You get it. 